Okay, so we just got it up there on the truck. And you can see exactly how big it is. I mean, I feel like it looks taller than it is. It's only about eight feet high. Uh, maybe eight and a half. I didn't do the measurement just yet, but I got it written down somewhere. But that's it. So you can see how those curved pieces would fit on the wall there. And I'll just have one big curved front. On the front end. Yep, yeah, it'll look like the truck's wearing a baseball cap. It's gonna be ginormous. Ah, not too ginormous. Just bigger than I pictured it, I think. But the good news is, we'll be able to stand in it very, very easily. It's about six feet four on the inside. I'm about five foot eight. So, that's no, not six foot four tall. This is a little bit more than six feet, I think. It's six feet four wide, though. It's almost a six by six and a half cube, basically. So now you can see how that back piece will fit on there. As the back, I tell you, it'll be gone. And that door piece will go right there. So we'll take one more look at these just to get a better idea of how it'll fit together. Those walls will go on either side. And this door piece will pull it. separate piece how that will go on that back piece of the truck over there all right so that's with the frame on and you can see it lines up pretty darn square along the whole edge of the truck on both ends pretty darn squared up and those will actually get tack welds probably just like two inch four inch beads along the rail secure it to the truck and gonna start that that'll really be the no turning back point Get this. so the truck will be on the frets for the next little bit I'll only be driving the beamer all right enough talk time to get to work see you guys later